Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Pastor Daryl Armstrong bringing, coming to you live from Deptford, New Jersey, where the Ewing Girls high school basketball team just defeated the uh, their way in their opponent, I should say, and now are on their way to the NJSIAA championship game on Sunday. March the 5th against Randolph High School. We are godly proud of them. And it is absolutely fitting because today, this first broadcast of Women's History Month, we are going to be celebrating women and their achievements. And what a great way to start the broadcast off by on the night that the Ewing High School girls basketball team won, the, the varsity basketball team won their group three champion semifinals championship game and are now on their way to the championship so i say congratulations to ewing high school to the superintendent and certainly to the lady blue devils of the ewing high school mercer county new jersey go ewing and we want to give a shout out to the boys basketball team from two other basketball teams from mercer county trent central high school boys are in group one um, playing in the championship, as well as Nottingham boys, uh, the Nottingham North Stars, group three boys basketball team are heading to the championship. So three Mercer County basketball programs, Trenton, Nottingham, Ewing, all representing the capital county of New Jersey in the Trenton Tornadoes representing the capital city of Trenton. All right. And I'm godly proud of my daughter and her cheerleading team because they have helped cheer on both basketball teams at Ewing High School, boys and girls, and they will be cheering in the championship game on Sunday night at six o'clock against Randolph. So um, you can see the pride on dad's face. You can see the pride on Ewing residence space. You can see the pride on this Mercer County residence space. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. And again, fitting because it's Women's History Month. March is Women's History Month. And tonight we have a special rebroadcast featuring the ladies of Swing Phi Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated. Sister Mitzi Hightower, T.O. Trust at the Shallow Church has introduced me to the amazing, awesome history of the Swing Five Swing Social Fellowship. And there will be a guest appearance from the brothers of Groove Five Groove Social Fellowship Incorporated. They are sister and brother, sister and brother social fellowship organizations, similar to what the brothers of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, with which I am one, and the sisters of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated are are constitutionally bound. And what makes this brief broadcast even more special, as you hear the cheers for the next basketball game, Group 1 Girls State Champion or Semifinals Championship, what makes this rebroadcast even more special is that there are two of the living founders of Swing Five Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated that will be on the broadcast tonight. So sit back, Learn and invite someone and let them know it's time for a seat at the table. My name is Daryl Armstrong, pastor of the Shiloh Baptist Church, and your host for a seat at the table where we bring you information and inspiration at the intersection of faith, religion, and spirituality, helping you to live the best life that God intended for you to live. If you know someone who cannot view us on YouTube or Facebook, tell them that they can call our free conference call number and listen in. 339-207-8145, 339-207-8145. One more time, 339-207-8145. 8145. I always want to give a big shout out to Brother Wayne Till, 
who is our, uh, our technology consultant, social media guru at the Shiloh Church, helping us to make sure that everything we do at Shiloh is broadcast to the world. That's great ministry when we can bring the gospel to the world through all of these mediums and channels. All right, so let's get ready for a seat at the table. One day we believe we're going to sit around God's table for an eternity. And until then, we invite you to sit around our table virtually and remotely every Thursday night for this broadcast. God bless you. Let's go ahead and pray. And then the next voice you'll hear will be a song of praise. And then the rebroadcast of the Sisters of Swing by Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated. Let's pray. Father, thank you for an opportunity to come together one more time tonight through the medium of technology. Thank you for Facebooks and YouTube. More importantly, thank you for the humans behind the broadcast thank you for brother wayne till and everyone else who helps to make this broadcast possible each and every thursday night lord i don't know who's listening and who will listen to this broadcast but i pray that one day somebody whoever hears it will be touched and moved by the spirit of the living god i plead the blood of jesus christ over this time and ask holy spirit that your power would resonate even through the airwaves and the internet and ethernet this is our prayer and i always recognize every religious tradition oh god but i pray this in the name of the one i call jesus my christ that god's people say amen amen and amen all right god bless you We'll see you on the other side of this musical break. Proclaim you now and your mighty power and your awesome majesty. Lord, come upon us now.
wounds for release your power and let your presence for release your power and let your presence fall. We want to um, go ahead and move into our next segment of our broadcast tonight, and that features Sisters of Swing by Swing Sorority Fellowship. And I want to introduce first Sister Mitzi Hightower Teal, who is one of our recently confirmed trustees at the Shallow Baptist Church. Sister Mitzi, how are you doing tonight? I am doing great, Pastor Armstrong, and thank you for having us. Absolutely. Having at the table. <laughs> Love it. So that was a great segue into the us. So let's go ahead and bring the us on. And I'm going to ask you to do the honors because this is a this is a protocol piece. We want to give honor where honor is due. And I want you to set protocol for the National Fellowship of Swing Phi Swing um, Incorporated. So introduce our special guest, if you would, tonight. Well, I am ex I am excited. I'm so excited to introduce uh, first of all, two founders, and you don't know many organizations that have living founders. That's and so right. I am excited and pleased to bring on sister founder, Mallon Reed Hill. And I am also excited to bring on sister founder, Patricia Story Edwards. And then with that, I'd like to bring on, I, can I bring on our president? Absolutely. New Jersey Zori or Benren Obiki, i.e. chapter, uh, Tamika Domino. We should have Tamika in. Oh, is Tamika on? Okay, there here we are. Tamika. Okay. So we are the proud, excited, um, awesome sisters. <laughs> of Swing Fi Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated. <laughs> Well, I am in the presence of royalty tonight uh, because I'm a proud member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated and a um, member of some other uh, uh, organizations. And as you said, Sister Mitzi, it is a rare thing to have living founders of some of our national bodies, such as these amazing women, as well as the leaders of this amazing um, national fellowship and and uh, is it international as well international fellowship we are national currently we're working on international <laughs> love it love it love it so if, if i can say to founder edwards and to founder hill god bless you and thank you all for joining us on a seat at the table tonight and to madam president um tamika domino is that correct Yes, it is an honor to have all of you sisters on with us tonight with one of Trenton's finest and best uh, representatives and ambassadors for your sisterhood, Sister Trustee Mitzi Hightower Teal. So, ladies, thank you again for pulling up a seat and sharing with us on a seat at the table. Let's start with these amazing founders, if I may. Um when you hear about founders, what was the motivation that led you to establish this amazing body of sisters? Um, I defer to either one and both. Uh, I defer to both founders, um, but either one of you defer to go first and answer that question. I would love and we would love to hear this amazing thought process because every organization conjectures we read about perhaps uh, at best what led the founders to do what they did you can tell us the story live thank you pastor armstrong for inviting us to a seat at the table it is our pleasure to be here i can say that hindsight's always 2020 and in the year of 1969 
uh, I think it was a very uh, fertile time for an organization like this to come together. Uh, in the 60s, uh, there was a lot of social unrest. Uh, as teenagers, we were quite familiar with uh, the Black Panthers, the KKK, uh, race riots, the injustice, Black power. Uh, we had some beautiful music during that time, James Brown and uh, say, it, say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud, and Marvin Gaye. Uh, we had heroes like Nelson Mandela, and we even had Nina Simone singing about to be young, gifted, and Black. So it was a very fertile ground uh, as far as cultural awareness. That was one of the things. Uh, we are sisters to Groove I Groove, and at that time, they did not have sisters. So several of our sister founders, uh, put out a flyer of who would be interested in becoming a part of this organization. Uh, it, it was going to be community-based. It was going to be one that we would uh, lift up our culture and, and, and empower each other. Uh, and as a, a Black woman, I can speak for myself and many others and say, you can't have too much encouragement. In the country we live in, uh, we've had 400 years of suppression, but yet we are full of joy and we were able to even have a black president. And um, so it was basically a consciousness of having an organization that was non-Greek that was doing basically a lot of the same things that the other organizations was doing. And um, proudly, we stand today as Swing Phi Swing Social Fellowship incorporated and we were founded on the first anniversary of the death of Martin Luther King. Wow, wow. Um, Madam Founder Edwards. Yes, good evening to you. Um, my father wanted, he had two, two girls and he wanted one to go south and I was the last one. So that's the way it happened. I had to go south. And by going south, um, I tried to fit in with all of the other girls and what was going on. But I came from the north, from Connecticut. And it was a hard deal for me. And so my senior year, I wanted to make a difference. I didn't want to go back home with nothing on my belt that did not make a difference. And when I was asked, to be a part of them, I said, yes. And what I realized now that the grooves birthed us into existence. If it wasn't for the 12 of us, we don't know if there would have been any swing fly swing. We've had a long way to go. We've been in existence for 53 years and that's amazing. And it's amazing that we still have founders. 10 of us are still left. And we try to get together when we can. And for the legacy, I'm leaving for the others to keep the torch going. Because pretty soon the founders are going to be gone. And I pray and I hope that in the end, they will see what we saw and bring it forth. Well, um, ladies, I, I, again, I stand in awe that I am in the presence uh, virtually of an amazing visionaries. And, um, you know, it's been an honor for me to learn about uh, Swing Phi Swing from your sister, uh, Mitzi Hightower Teal. Um, and other members of our congregation who have recently uh, pledged your national uh, fellowship, social fellowship. And Missy's going to talk a little bit more about that. Um, I want to defer now to uh, National President uh, Tamika Domino to say a few words. I understand we have a wonderful video that's also going to give some background information and knowledge about this national body. Um, I, I'm very clear about my uh, 
history of black fraternal and sororal bodies. Number one, the divine nine of which Phi Beta Sigma is a member um, is not the only nine fraternal bodies and sororal bodies in America. Um, they are unique ones for sure. Um, and I even tell my brothers Alpha, they're not the oldest black male Greek fraternity in America. A lot of folk do not know about Sigma Pi Phi which was founded two years before Alpha Phi Alpha was founded at Cornell University. We call it the Boule. But a lot of folk don't understand that Sigma Pi Phi, founded by nine black men in the city of brotherly love, preceded Alpha Phi Alpha. And so we have to be very careful about our history and how we embrace all of our national black fraternal and sororal bodies. I'll have some of my Masonic and Eastern Star brothers and sisters say, hey, don't forget about us. Swing, five, swing, groove, five, groove. Hey, don't forget about us. And dare not forget about all of the women of the National Federation of Black Women Colored Clubs. They are what? Sororal bodies. And so we have to be very careful about our history to not leave folk out and not to make big eyes and little U's and somehow your organization is, is, isn't as good as mine. What do we all have in common? We all have the blessing of going to a college. Mm -hmm. And if we don't use our blessing of going to somebody's institution of higher education to advance the next generation of black and brown people and those who are under resourced, then shame on us. Give up the name, give up the colors and stop touting around because you're just playing, as I say, playing church. <laughs> but if you're serious about what you represent as a body, you will never put another organization down. You will always embrace all organizations and you're always working for the upliftment of your community. And then I would even dare say upliftment and glorification of our God. So that's my sermon for tonight. Sister, thank you for letting me preach. Uh, National President Tamika Domino, go ahead and share a little bit more from your perspective as the national leader of this August sororal body. I'm mean, sorry, state leader, state leader. Uh, so, yes, I'll clarify. I'm the local, I'm the president of the local chapter that Mitzi is a part of in Jezuri. Gotcha. Um, Forgive me. No problem. Our <laughs> national president is uh, Madam President uh, Deborah McCoy. She's the national president of Swing Fi Swing. So gotcha. Incorporated. Um, so um, I'm sorry. go ahead and stay, go ahead and keep setting protocol. Who's your state president? <laughs> right. So um, uh, what Regional. would you like for me to speak to? Just um, general. Um, I can tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I attended Gramley State University, uh, which is where I first found out about Swing Five Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated um, from some of the Tiger Five, um, which is the undergraduate chapter of Groove Phi Groove there. I found out about this organization um, from uh, some of the members of that particular chapter. And um, I'll keep a long story short, you know, once they explained to me that there was an alternative um, to um, Greek life, um, which is huge, um, like we all know at HBCUs, especially in the South. Um, it was um, something that piqued my interest. Um, I wanted to be a part of an organization where um, I wasn't just a number. And, uh, and all due respect to um, any of the um, Divine Nine, the Black uh, Greek letter organizations, um, I respect and appreciate all that they've done for our community because as you stated, we all have the same goal, which is scholarship and community service. We want to see our communities and people that look like us and share our experience do better. So um, that goal is the same, um, but I just wanted to do something a little different and, um, you know, once they explained to me that they did have a sister organization, I looked into it and um, long story short, I, I um, became a member, I pledged the organization and um, I started the undergrad chapter because there wasn't one at Gramley State University. Um, so I've been a member of the organization um, since December 19th, 1998. Um, it's been 24 years. Um, 
and I uh, was also um, a charter member of this local graduate chapter um, that we have. Um, I'm very proud to be a member of Swing by Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated. I'm very proud to be a member of um, NJ Zuri grad chapter, which is local. Um, we've had the opportunity to, um, you know, build this this chapter. Uh, we've it's been um, a long road, but it's been a labor of love, and um, you know, I wouldn't have made um, another choice. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, listen, if my math is correct, uh, Madam Local President, 1998-2023, you're going on your 25th anniversary. Yes. And um, in Sigma, we would call it our Sigma-versary. Mm -hmm. And swing, I don't know if it's swing-aversary or not. Swing-aversary. <laughs> All right. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so happy swing. I must say I am celebrating 46 years Wow! Of swing by Swing. I became into Swingland uh, November 21st in 1977. Wow, my, my, Mitzi. my, Sister Mitzi. At well, listen. City State University. Beautiful. And, and, and uh, Madam Founders, where, where, on which campuses again, I may have missed that, did um, your vision take place? Winston-Salem. State University in North Carolina. Wonderful. North Carolina. Wow, wow. And listen, ladies, here's another thing that Swing Phi Swing has and, and, and Groove Phi Groove have in common with, guess what? Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, as well as Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. We both are sister, brother, fraternal, and sororal bodies. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, as I am gleaning, you are very proud of your relationship to Groove Phi Groove. We and are. <laughs> our, our Zeta sisters are very proud of their relationship to Phi Beta Sigma and our three founders, um, which helped sow the seed and bring and cultivate um, that that fraternal sorority bond. So I will always remember and share that among um, our sister brothers, uh, our brothers and sisters. And listen, there's another uh, phenomenal black Greek letter organization, Christian organization that was founded at Morgan at Delaware, University of Delaware. Um, and I believe at Dell State, they had some common um, founding of this. It's called Alpha and Omega, Black, mm -hmm. Greek, Christian organization. Mm -hmm. So again, it just speaks about the diversity of who we are as a people. Mitzi, uh, why don't you go ahead and, and introduce this video because it says a lot about your national um, fellowship. And so it's a little bit about the video we're going to see. So um, the video you're going to see basically um, gives the history, how we were started, um, our plans for our future, uh, which we'll talk a little bit more later, but it 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 will give you the understanding of what we are we are about. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you all, and uh, we'll come back on the other side of showing this historical video. As a preacher, um, there's a particular link to the death of the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You'll see it in the video. Swing by Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated was founded as the sister organization to Groove by Groove Social Fellowship Incorporated at the peak of the Black Power Movement. African Americans were fighting for their rights, claiming their culture, and displaying their Afrocentricity. On April 4th, the somber first anniversary of the murder of civil rights activist Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., 12 dynamic Afrocentric women dared to be different. Our beloved founding sisters, proud, innovative, and determined, challenged a standard normality of pledging a Greek letter sorority and stepping out in faith at Winston-Salem State College to establish a non greek sisterhood. These bold women ignited a flame that would influence thousands of women across the country to follow in their footsteps. Their pioneering spirit continues to burn in the hearts of many sisters, transcending the boundaries of geography, social class, race, or religious affiliation. Today, Swing continues to be a unique, culturally conscious, non-Greek sisterhood governed by a board of directors, national president, and executive authors. 
Our nonprofit organization has numerous undergraduate and graduate chapters throughout the United States committed to effective social change, consciously uplifting women of color, promoting higher intelligence, and being on the front lines of community involvement. We realize as conscious women, we are an integral part of uplifting our communities. We accept our responsibility as sisters with interests never gone by committing to be active members within our organization and communities. Swing by Swing continues to be an organization which embodies female students and professionals facing life's challenges as women of color. We offer one another and the community at large our own brand of culturally enriched, nurturing, and assistance. Membership provides individual support and social fellowship to women that have made the conscious decision to take the road less traveled. We emphasize that no sister is ever alone to face any challenge set before her. We provide a way to give back resources to communities in need. Through the years, Swing has made sizable charitable contributions, volunteered to perform community service, and remain committed to effecting positive change in the communities we serve. Together we are strong. Together we make a difference as members of Swing by Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated, serving our community. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> These are the kind of things you Black History Month is about, right? Learning about right. who we are as a people. And um, again, founders Edwards and Hill, um, congratulations on your vision. That's all we can say. God bless you. Uh, I need to ask this question. It's burning, right? Um, very clear about a couple of phrases. Afrocentric. Um, consciousness and non-greek and so let's start with the non-greek why was it important to posit that the identity and again we're not putting greek-led organizations uh disparaging them but tell us about the vision of why it was important to identify yourself as non-greek afrocentric i'll let pat answer mm -hmm. How about you, Soror, uh, um, founder Edwards, founder Edwards? I know she passed it to me. Um, as I said before, I was on the campus for four years and I saw all the other sororities and what they stood for. Everyone stood for everything that was good, but I wanted a soror a, a fellowship where you take me as I am. And I come with all of my goals that I can send out to someone else. And I will not be looked down upon, but I would be embraced and they would take me in. So you know, in the April, when I was approached, I was on my way home. I was the senior. I was the only senior out of everyone. And I said, yes. And because I said, yes, this is how far we've grown to what we are doing now. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, thank you, ma'am. Um, if I may, Reverend Armstrong, just to interject yes. well, to add to yeah. that for um, our sister founders. Um, if you can recall, this organization was founded during the height of the Black Power Movement. So, you know, um, we students and, and, and young people of that time were reclaiming and embracing their Afrocentricity. They were they were embracing, they were proud to be black. They wanted to be known as being black. Um, and you know, um, to be regarded as Greek wasn't necessarily what um they were trying to do, if that makes sense. And and again, we we never want to come across as if 
we are um, speaking ill of of people who made that particular decision. But when this when our organization was founded, as well as when Move was founded, this was this was the climate. This was this is this what was this is what was happening we you know young people were claiming and being they wanted to be proud of of their heritage of their afrocentricity of their blackness so that's that's essentially why that you know why that was very much the focus of the founding of our organizations Absolutely. And, and listen, I, I, I'm, I'm very clear. Um, the principles of Kwanzaa, the work of Dr. Malefi Kita Sante um, at Temple University, right? Um, Dr. Peniel Joseph, the Barber uh, Jordan Chair of Politics at um, the LBJ School of Public Affairs at the University of Texas. Um, I just heard him lecture today. And he talks in his book, The Third Reconstruction, about how the first reconstruction failed, 1865 to 1898. A second reconstruction that we founded or we saw in the civil rights movement about reclaiming a certain sense of what the redemptionists or what we, we, we might call the older version of the Trumpites and the MAGA folk, um, what they opposed with the Reconstructionists. And the Reconstructionists were those of us, our people, who saw a new America trying to give birth to a new multiracial um, understanding that affirmed Black identity as opposed to denigrated it. And he argues that the first Reconstruction failed, the second Reconstruction failed, even in the midst of the civil rights movement and all that it portended, 13th, 14th, 15th amendments. And then he would argue that there's a third reconstruction that's underway now, 2008, with the election of Barack Obama. And so I very much um, uh, feel and appreciate uh, your sense of why a non-Greek, some would say non-African, I mean, a uh, non-European, um, way of thought, right? That challenge Greco-Roman identity and affirm Afrocentricity. And so uh, there's a lot, a lot more we can go with those themes. And I'm going to have y'all back so we can go there because this is the kind of education that we need to do uh, during Black History Month and every other month to help our folk know. So listen, I want to thank um, you, uh, President Tamika Domino. I want to thank these amazing visionary founders, beautiful Black women, um, founder Marilyn Hill, founder Pat Edwards, President Tamika Domino. I'm going to have your soror stay on sister mitzi hightower teal because we're going to go into Sister. segment sisters uh, sisters Sister. not sororors thank you again <laughs> have to get my nomenclature it's right so get my nomenclature yep. right uh -huh. <laughs> i gotcha i gotcha <laughs> so sisters mm -hmm. uh, i'm gonna have your sister mitzi hightower teal stay on as we go into our, our last segment for tonight mm -hmm. but ladies thank you so much for joining us and would you come back on a seat at the table at another invitation indeed Indeed. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you. Um, so we're going to switch out and bring some new folk in. And uh, Sister Mitzi, you're going to stay on and you're going to help me introduce um, these two amazing sisters. And then we're going to bring on the brother um, of Groove Phi Groove. Um, and the person of Brother Ahmad. So, so Missy, why don't you introduce these two sisters, and then we'll introduce our brother from Groove Five Groove. Okay, so we have here Sister Leia Sample, and we have Sister Taylor Linghorn. Okay, so they're gonna give you more information about our um, events that we do, our, um, you know, just background, of what we do okay and why why we do what we do before before you do that if i may sisters um, i'm going to ask you to um just allow us to go ahead and bring our brother in mm -hmm. and then having established this unique relationship between groove five groove and swing five swing um i would love to have you all again wrap up our segment with giving those kinds of details particularly if we can invite folk to come to some of these activities um, over our broadcast. Um, and so 
uh, brother Ahmad McDougal. God bless you, sir. And um, it is an honor. And if I have my nomenclature correct, inter the national president. International now at this point. International. Love it. Love it. So tell us a little bit. You heard this first segment, this last segment. Tell us the unique relationship between Groove 5 Groove and Swing 5 Swing. As I mentioned, I'm a proud Sigma, and uh, we have a, a, a relationship bond with the Sisters of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, the only black Greek-led organization to have an official bond, but you all have this unique bond as well. Talk to us about that unique bond and why it's so important to you. Hello, absolutely. Uh, first, I say thank you for inviting me on the program. It's definitely a pleasure to be amongst the founders and the good sisters. And amongst yourself, as you and I are brothers of another organization, as I heard that you were a mason. So, uh, greetings to you, my brother. Um, but Groove by Groove, um, our organization, of course, was founded at the same time period. So, our sister organization, we carry the same mindset. We're community service first. Uh, we are Afrocentric. We embrace our roots. And that mindset and that uh, particular way that we look at things, our perspective, brings us closer together because we're always the first people to um, be outside when it comes to service. We are we are quick to support those who are in need, especially those in marginalized communities. I use the adage that um, we we don't simply water the plant. We're the ones that put our hands into, into the soil and sow the seeds of progress throughout our communities, just as others do. But this is one of the things that we pride ourselves on. And so we're thankful um, to be able to be uh, with such an exceptional organization as Swing by Swing Sister or Madam President uh, Tamika, her and I have been friends since we were at Grandma. When I actually was joining the organization, she would assist me um, by making sure that I, I was fed. You know, back in 1998, uh, a good turkey sandwich out the window was an exceptional thing. It was almost like Thanksgiving to us. And so, and so, so that type, that's the type of relationship that I've had with the sisters over the years. When I got into my grad, when I got into my master's program, it was a sister that helped me fill out the application and started to turn my wheels about going to get a master's because I hadn't thought about it. Um, when I was through my master's program, it was a sister that helped me uh, through the master's program, as well as I helped sisters and other brothers through their master's program. Same things with getting jobs, same things with uh, mentoring kids, putting together bus tours. Uh, Tamika and I personally have been working um, for our National Youth Empowerment Summer for 10 years uh, before I became president. And so this type of relationship, uh, we're talking about being at each other's weddings, at each other's christenings, baby showers. It's just a beautiful Beautiful relationship, and, and and I love to see it every time I see my sisters. That is awesome. And um, as the twelfth international president of this august body um we're proud to call you a new jerseyan brother so you right up the street working at the department of labor um doing good work on a whole for a whole bunch of new jerseyans and beyond so uh kudos to you and your work and with, with all transparency and respect um i honor and esteem brother masons and sister eastern stars um not a member of that body but I have great respect for them um mm -hmm. and so i appreciate you give me that uh that that, that, that love but um we continue to love it just regardless of the title, regardless of the organization, just as people of God and particularly as black folk um, created in the image of almighty God. So God bless you. Uh, with Armstrong, um, because of their relationship, I would like to have our uh, president come back on if she can. Uh, absolutely. Join right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you for uh, mm -hmm. making sure that we have that, that connection. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So I heard that a turkey sandwich may have been extended um, <laughs> out the window as the brother was uh, moving through the process. <laughs> yes, yes. I've known uh, Amai, like you said, since we were teens um, <laughs> at Grambling State mm -hmm. University. And, you know, um, so we have we definitely have supported each other through these years. Um, and he's um, one of my best friends. And I'm really very, very proud of of who he's become and I'm, you know, honored to have been able to see him, you know, um, rise through the ranks and groove. Wonderful, wonderful. So um, this might be a nice segue, uh, Madam President, to um, talk about the actual membership of this local, um, would chapter be the correct uh, nomenclature? Yes, chapter. the local trend chapter. Um, how many sister? How many sisters are in the chapter? And when was this particular chapter founded? 
Um, we have currently we have 32 members in our chapter. We were founded in 2011. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? 2011. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were founded in 2011. Um, and um, yeah, we actually have we have an interest meeting that is coming up um, this Sunday. And we have quite a few interests um, that will be um, logging in to, to seek membership to our organization. We're very um, happy about that. And um, if anyone else wants information on how to join our organization, they can go to our national website, which is www.swingfiswing.org, or they can email us at njzurigradchapter at gmail um, to seek more information. Wonderful. And brother, international president Madugal, how many uh, chapters are in uh, the state of New Jersey first and how many chapters nationally? Because again, um, and is it safe to say that maybe chapters are more prevalent in southern region of the state versus the northeast or the Midwest? Or um, how is the national international uh, work of Rue 5 Groove situated at this point? So currently in the state of New Jersey, we have four graduate chapters and we have seven undergraduate chapters. Okay. Um, concentration for this state is further south or uh, heavily populated up north. And yep. generally our membership uh, nationally is heavily populated on the eastern seaboard. But we do have chapters in the south, on the west coast, and then internationally we have a chapter, chapter in Ghana that has about 55 members, Nigeria, mm -hmm. uh, Dominican Republic, uh, Paris, the Netherlands, um, Paris, Netherlands. Uh, yeah, that's that's a we have a few more. I'm trying to think through it. Was, we have a, a number of international chapters that just have started within the last two or three years, uh, due to our, our, our outreach to those areas to try to give them opportunity to join a pro black organization that's about service. That that is phenomenal. And let me just ask this additional question. Um, one of the things that attracted me to Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated was um, this international aspect. We're the only black Greek letter organization that can say that we have four African heads of state who pledged our fraternal body. And they did that at Lincoln University. The first prime minister of Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah, as an undergrad at Lincoln, pledged Phi Beta Sigma. Um, Benjamin Azikiwe, the first um, prime minister of the Republic of Nigeria, pledged Sigma at Lincoln University. William Tolbert, uh, first um, one of the presidents of the Republic of Liberia, um, pledged Sigma at Lincoln University. So for a black Greek led organization to have an international footprint like that, particularly in Africa, was something that's very unique. And so you're telling me that Groove 5 Groove has not only an African, not only an African Caribbean, but, but a true international presence um, as a fraternal body. That is something that is um, quite unique and uh, really speaks well of the vision of your founders. When was Groove 5 Groove founded? It was found October 12, 1962 at Morgan State Wonderful. College. Wonderful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, so, Sister uh, Sample and Sister Linkhorn, mm -hmm. uh, you were about to talk to us a little bit about, but before you even get to the activities, why did you pledge Swing Phi Swing of all the bodies? <laughs> so, um, I became a member of Swing through a grad chapter, through New Jersey Zuri grad chapter. I was, I was, looking for something different and when i did my research i found that this was an organization of um really helping sisters uplifting sisters um encouraging to do things outside of the box and giving you the courage to be able to step outside the box and have the support so once i was given that information and um i met the sisters, I was intrigued and I wanted to be a part. And then once I found out that there was living founders and I had a chance to have a conversation with living founders, I was overjoyed and I was like, 
I want to be a part of this organization. I want to be able to give back to the community that helped raise me. And I was in alignment with the initiatives that Swing by Swing um, stands for. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. And how about you, Sister Lincoln? So I was introduced to Swing by Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated while at the College of St. Rose in Albany, New York. There were no active sisters on the campus, but I was introduced to Swing by the Brothers of Group by Group. And when they connected me with the sisters, it was just beautiful to see how they interacted with each other, how open and loving they were towards me. And the more they told me about the organization, the more I fell in love. Something that really attracted me is that they were rooted in the African culture mm -hmm. and the five is an African Phi. It's not just the Greek letter Phi. And our name is an acronym that really spoke out to me. And what it stands for is Sisters with Interests Never Gone, Promoting Higher Intelligence, Supporting Women in Need of Growth. And each aspect of that stuck out to me because I always want to be a sister that's pouring into someone else but I'm also able to have people pour into me and help me grow. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. I love it. I love it. Yes. We're getting some. This is what Black History Month is about. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Mitzi, tell us about uh, you came back from Elizabeth City. Yes. Um, and did you pledge undergrad or did you pledge graduate chapter? I pledged uh, undergrad. Mm -hmm. So when I went to Elizabeth City State University, um, I took a year of just observing, observing all the organizations. And what turned me on, what was uh, my interest was the swings, um, just their connection to everyone. They did not just um, stand alone and, you know, um, segregate themselves. They were connected to every organization, every divine nine, every organiza organization that was on campus. And so that stood out to me. The colors, uh, of course, everyone that knows me knows that I love uh, black and white, white and black. It was just a um, something about the elegance when they walked across campus. The sister and brotherhood the way the brothers respected the sisters, that attracted me. Um, and then once I found, like uh, Taylor said, you know, sisters with interests never gone, that stood out to me. Just what Swing was about really stood out to me. But most importantly, but when I found out that there were living founders, that was like something different. I'm like, okay. <laughs> And then their motto was, we dare you to be different. We dare you to be different. And I dared to be different. And after 46 years, I have no regrets. I love Swing Five Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated. Wow. Wow. Listen, it is unbelievable, Mitzi, that you're going to be coming up on your 50th swing anniversary. Swing anniversary, uh, yes. <laughs> in about three years. And, you, and you're looking like you're just coming you out of like grad school, school right yourself. <laughs> Uh, so yes, uh, right. <laughs> all, all, all you beautiful black women and handsome brothers, y'all you know, represent well. And uh, anyone who knows Mitzi and her husband, Wayne, and they're both leaders at our congregation, I can say this, um, their wedding was an elegant display of uh, black and white. Black and white, of course. And uh, <laughs> I had the great honor of uniting them in holy matrimony. Yes, uh, what year was that, Mitzi and Wayne? That that was uh nineteen. We got married when Wayne. Uh -oh, <laughs> uh -oh. No, we were married in uh twenty twenty two. No, not twenty twenty two. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. Two twenty o two. Twenty o two. I'm like, where are we? Twenty o two. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> look, look, brother Wayne had to come on and chime in and get things straight. So uh, like, wait, how many years? Wait, we just got married. <laughs> so God, yeah, so God did. Yeah. 2002, we were married. That's right. But, but we were together. Um, we were together 20 years before then. Praise God. Years. So we, I started dating Wayne right out of college, but I we weren't ready for marriage. So, 
we made sure it was right before. And then I had my mother who was ill and all that kind of stuff. So we um, just took our time. And when it was right, we we made it right. <laughs> all things in God's time. Yes. So it's a sample. And so, so Lincoln, you're going to talk to us about some upcoming activities. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. So I actually, there's a video of some of okay. our local events that we have done throughout the past. So I would like to, sh to have that video shared and I can just kind of go over. Sounds um, good with the video all right thank you absolutely absolutely grad chapter is committed to serving and improving communities in which we live. Here we are participating in a breast cancer walk. We've participated in suicide prevention walk, as well as the AIDS walk held on the Atlantic City Boardwalk. During COVID-19, we provided meals for healthcare professionals, and we participated in Rise Against Hunger, as well as Chef for a Day, at the Ronald McDonald House. NJ Zori participated in the voters' rights as well as the BLM, Black Lives Matter movement. NJ Zori believes in promoting higher education and NJ Zori sponsors our own scholarship. We give back to the community by providing children's books as well as diapers for mothers that are in need. For social barrier awareness, we, pro we provided suits and clothing for Dress for Success and also participated in the coat drive at in a local church. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. I would um, like to add, mm -hmm. um, if this wasn't part of the video, I would like to add that this year, NJ Zori has um, a new initiative. It's called Adopt a Senior. And the senior is actually a senior in high school. This year, NJ Zori adopted 12 young ladies from Camden High School. And with the Adopt a Senior program, we were able to cover their yearbook, their cap and gown, their diploma, the diploma cover, all their senior week activities. Mm -hmm. And this was an initiative that was brought forth from one of our sisters. And this is an initiative that we have um, adopted and hopefully we can move forward and in the future be able to um, service more than 12 young ladies. Wonderful. Yes. Listen, as I tell all of the black fraternal and sorority bodies, whatever you have going on in the greater Mercer County, Central Jersey, greater Delaware Valley area, always send me a flyer, send us a flyer, because um, I love to pub, market, and advertise. Um, I, I talk for a living. That's what I do as a preacher. And so I love to promote and share the kind of good things that our fraternal and sorority bodies are doing um, throughout our land. So anything you all have coming up, Mitzi knows, uh, make sure that we know about it here at the Shallow Church. And we love to share it through all of our social media outlets um, with all of our radio broadcasts um, on WIMG with our uh, television broadcasts, as well as e-blast, voice blast, and text blast. Um, I'd like to promote good things that are going on with in our community and clearly you all have some good things going on i'm gonna um, ask miss linkhorn to tell us um what does god have for you next in your academic and professional future as a proud member of swing five swing so um 
So getting back to the promoting higher intelligence, all the women that I'm surrounded by in the chapter really inspired me to continue my education. So after having the support from the sister and my the sisters in my chapter, I actually decided to go back to school and get my degree so that I can further my education and career advancement. Awesome. Awesome. God bless you. That's a wonderful thing to hear. And and and, and if I can explore a little bit, because that's also what I do as a counselor. Uh, it, are you suggesting that this un, is an undergrad degree or a bat or um, or an advanced graduate degree that you're going back to get? This would be an undergraduate degree in psychology with a concentration in forensic psychology. Wonderful. So let me, the reason I said that, because am I to then believe one does not have to have a degree in order to become a member of the sisterhood? Is that correct? That's correct. If you and go on our website, we have all the requirements listed there. You can also reach out to our local chapter if you're in the New Jersey area and you're interested, or you can go directly on our national website. And we will definitely get you into contact with someone in your area. Wonderful. Um, International President Madugo, is that the same for the brothers of Group 5 Group? No degree required. One can play, one can join the fellowship, the social fellowship um, that you all have without having to have a formal degree. Is that correct or not? That is correct. So you have to have attended college um, and then there's alter alternative route, uh, which is pretty strenuous in terms of the service hours that you have to have completed and the things that you have to have been involved in your community because you have to present an asset to the organization. Wonderful. Wonderful. And, that, and that's important because um, black Greek letter organizations and some other bodies could all um, could be or have been, I should say, um, perhaps painted in some ways unfairly, maybe some ways fairly as being elitist when it comes to who can become members of the body. And again, I go back to um, there, but for the grace of God, go any of us. We should never look down on anybody and always be exp inspiring them to achieve more and to achieve higher. And so um, you all have absolutely made my evening tonight. Um, I'm going to ask one more question. Uh, the sisters with interest never gone. Does Groove also stand for, uh, is it an acronym for something that you can share with the brothers or with us and our viewers? I can share the first part, which is God rules over our victorious existence. I like that. I like that. I like that. Say it, say it again so the, so the viewers can understand what you just said. Sure. God rules over our victorious existence. I like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I have been educated tonight. <laughs> Swing and groove. We better make sure we understand what we're saying um, mm -hmm. when we under, when we pronounce and share. Uh, and that's what this is all about. Right. How do we elevate someone's consciousness um, mm -hmm. and someone's understanding? Because until you walk in my shoes, you have no idea who I am. And yes. if you can try to understand who I am, um, then that opens up the gate of communication, cooperation, and um, coordination, which for me, all equal true collaboration. And so, uh, you know, it's been an honor, uh, Madam President Domino, um, Brother International President uh, of Groove I, Groove social fellowship incorporated um as well as sisters linkhorn and sisters sample pleasure to meet you taylor go get that degree i'm praying for your success <laughs> sister and i'm proud of you all right i'm proud of you uh, i don't even know you but i'm proud of you and godly proud of you and to god be the glory for what these sisters have inspired within you um and founder edwards your inspiration is being paid with that um <laughs> forward backward sideward uh <laughs> thank god for you sister mitzi thank you for introducing me even further to the right. black and white family to the black and white family 
Now we have a flyer we would like to show just in case anyone is interested. Uh, the information is on the flyer and I think Wayne has that. Awesome, awesome. We're gonna share that. Uh, so let me go ahead and just say these parting words to um, these founders, to this brother international president, to this local chapter president, to these inspiring members of the Social Fellowship Incorporated. Um, all of us, no matter from where we come and no matter what organization we join, need to not fall into a false debate of W.B. Du Bois versus Booker T. Washington. And like Malcolm and Martin, before they both died, Booker T. and W.B. came to a closer understanding of their different philosophies. And we should never let anybody divide us and my God, we should never try to divide ourselves. Right. So no matter what the colors you wear, and no matter what letters, and no matter what they stand for, true, truth is humbly seeking your way before a God who created you in his in God's image. And I really applaud all of you and all other um black fraternal and sororal bodies all other black sisterhoods and brotherhoods um all other black fellowships um all of the black federations let us continue to work for the upliftment of not only our people people of african descent but of all people because true to our history when black folks stood up and fought for rights everybody else in america benefited from our fight mm -hmm. right. and that is still the reality today yeah. and so congratulations to the work you do um brother wayne thanks for all that you did on the back scene and we're gonna go ahead and close our broadcast out tonight uh, we will certainly promote this um and share this link with all of um anyone and everyone far and wide on black history month happy black history month to all of you and to your respective families here's the flyer join us virtual interest meeting new jersey zuri um and go Obinrin. ahead Mitzi, and say that for me. Say it for me. New Jersey, Zuri, Obinrin, Abike, IE Graduate Chapter of Swing Fi Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated. I knew you would say it much better than I. <laughs> God bless you all. Pleasure you. and an honor to have met all of you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have learned some black history today. I did not know on the first anniversary of the death of the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, one of America's greatest prophets, in the footsteps of a Frederick Douglass, an amazing prophet to this country. On the first anniversary, April 4th, 1969, the Sisters of Swing. Phi Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated were founded. In conjunction and connection proudly with their brothers, Groove Five Groove Social Fellowship Incorporated. We should never let another April 4th go by without honoring the life of the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Remember what I said, not MLK Day. Never reduce the life of that great man to MLK. No, it's the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And on the first anniversary of his death, we should remember the sisters of Swing Phi Swing Social Fellowship Incorporated. God bless you, particularly you amazing founders of this august body of sisters and your sisterhood. And International President Madugo, bless you and your august international body of brothers and your brotherhood. And all of our black fellowships and bodies, 
May God continue to use us to uplift God's people. All right. We want to invite you again, as you heard at the top of our program, share with us on this coming Saturday, February the 25th, uh, from 10 to 1, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in our Artist and Author Showcase, showcasing Black Minds uh, and others who have put pen to paper, finger to typewriter and computer, tablet, keyboard, and produce their own works, their own intellectual property. Join us as we celebrate them and artists who have used their creativity to do some amazing things. That's this Saturday, February the 25th, 2023, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., one of our first major in-person events of the new year. Come on out and share with us at the Shallow Baptist Church, 340 Reverend S. Howard Woodson Jr. Way. And then on Sunday, if you don't have anywhere else to go and you're up early at 8 o'clock, Make your way over to the Shiloh Baptist Church as we conclude and culminate our Black History Month celebrations and commemorations with an amazing time of fellowship and worship and scholarship. Look forward to seeing you Saturday. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday, February the 25th. Let's go ahead and pray out. Dear God, I thank you. I thank you for this wonderful time of exchange and learning, communication, Fellowship, investing, pouring into. Thank you for vision. Thank you for commitment. Thank you for perseverance. Thank you for inspiration that these two bodies have given to each other in the world. And not just them, but other organizations that have inspired our people to overcome the harshness of structural racism. God, help us to let our light shine before men and women that they may see the God in us, regardless of the colors we wear the letters we adorn, and the histories that we so proudly share. First and foremost is the gift of life that comes from you, the creator. We are created in your image, the Imago Dei of God. Thank you for life. And on this Black History Month, we celebrate life and thank you for the richness, the diversity, the magnanimity of our history as we seek to uplift everyone for opportunity, inclusion, and access. We love you, God. We know that with you on our side, nothing is impossible. In the awesome name of Jesus, I pray that all of God's people, the redeemed of the Lord, respecting all other religious tradition, let us close by saying, Ashe and Amen. God bless you and God keep you. Thank you for tuning in to A Seat at the Table. We'll see you next time.